The former leader of the Maoist rebel group, The Shining Path, which terrorized Peru in the 1980s and 90s, has appeared in court. Abimael Guzman is charged with orchestrating a deadly bombing more than 20 years ago. It was the first time The Shining Path leader has been seen in public since he was resentenced to life in prison in 2006. CCTV's Dan Collins reports. Visibly frail and bent over, this was once the most feared man in Peru. Sharing a few words with his wife and his one-time second-in-command, Elena Iparaguirre, better known here as Comrade Miriam. This elderly pair unleashed the deadliest conflict in Peru's history. 70,000 people were killed. Now this 79-year-old man and 10 other Shining Path leaders are back in court, charged with ordering a deadly bomb attack 22 years ago. The prosecution blames Guzman and his central committee for a bombing on an upscale street in Lima called Tarata. Tarata today is a quiet pedestrianized walkway with shops and restaurants. Only this monument stands in memory as to what happened on that day in July 1992, when two car bombs tore through this street in what was the single deadliest attack by the Shining Path on the Peruvian capital. The car bombs packed with around 500 kilos of explosives killed 25 people and wounded 150. Guzman's lawyer says he didn't give the order. Those directly responsible for this act have been condemned. There isn't a single piece of evidence that Abimal Guzman or the Central Committee gave the order to execute this act in Tarata. Guzman's lawyer said after the attack, his client declared it an error. The outcome of this trial will be somewhat academic. Peru outlawed the death penalty back in 1979. Both Guzman and his wife are already serving life sentences in prison. Dan Collins, CCTV, Lima.